They are not the exception to making mistakes. The problem where I throw some hands is when they're constantly making those mistakes and the shitty apologies are just getting more shittier. So. <laughs> I'm back with another commentary video again. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Riri. And um, we talk about a lot of K-pop so far. Um, we do a little bit of lifestyle. But I'm really into K-pop like at the moment, so if y'all like K-pop, y'all should subscribe, you know, you know. Another thing that I want to talk about before I get into the video, a couple of my mutuals on TikTok, and some people that y'all might know if y'all on TikTok, especially like the K-pop side, they're doing a podcast type of thing. So, um, this is their channel. I'm going to link it in the description down below. Um, it's supposed to drop sometime today. Y'all should check it out, especially if y'all like when people talk about like topics about K-pop, if y'all like commentary, if y'all want to hear other people's thoughts and opinions on it. Definitely check it out. I gotta support them. I gotta support them. Okay, so I wanna talk about how K pop idols are marketed. Now, when I was first getting into K pop, I was like, the way how they market the idols, I, it was amazing, in my opinion. Well, at, at first, I was like, the content, the videos, the lives, I'm like, it's making the fans feel so close. Well, first of all, you have these great looking people, right? Right. But there's a problem when you market them off as, like, single. Y'all probably thinking, what does that mean? Okay, you market them off as single, and then you put dating bands, like, in the contracts and stuff. Making it look like some of the fans have a chance. And, like, that's per se not a bad thing. It becomes a bad thing when people get mad if they see their idols with another person. It gets ugly. That's the problem where it comes in. That I feel like that's the problem with it. People will literally on stand you send threats and i'm not with it as someone who used to be a directioner when i seen that harry styles he said um there was a thing i think he like slept with a fan my thought was oh so i got a chance but i wasn't getting mad though, like oh who who did he i wasn't getting mad though pretty sure a good portion of people thought like that because i i didn't remember seeing him getting dragged or anything i joined later in the fandom so mm -mm. but the thing is if a k-pop idol was to do that oh baby no mm -mm get that ooh, it could be you wouldn't get that same reaction you would get people trying to dig up on that person i feel like if it was normalized over there so like oh well you know you can date like we don't really care people would be people would be like oh, okay let's say justin bieber just because we y'all y'all know how the believers used to be he went out with selena there was like shippers you know it was more supporters and i think there was haters when he got into a relationship people was like mm, okay you couldn't have that over here with k-pop idols you can't do that if anything, somebody's career would have got messed up. And since they like to be a little biased, so it probably would have been the girl if they was in that situation. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I'm just like, hmm. Like a whole different atmosphere when you step up to the K-pop community and fan base and stuff. They don't like that. Uh, Y'all remember that BTS American Hustle Life? And how they were like <laughs> shooting that music video? Oh, try out. People were like, oh, I don't, I don't really like that. I was like, oh, okay. Or like with certain interviewers. Yeah, they don't like that like with the recent one see the thing is when people bring up stuff i feel like sometimes they don't bring it up to actually talk about problems they just bring it up because to bring it up is to make people look bad i spoke about this in one of my videos right how people don't like to actually talk about the issue but they want to make an issue out of that issue i'm not with it i'm not with it so yeah like if you flirt if you some fans they don't you know they don't mind it or whatever but it's, it's a good portion of fans get scared yeah so when i think of the relation that like k-pop idols have with their fans it kind of puts you in the mind of youtubers with their um fan base right and at first i was like oh wait that's kind of cool though but here's the downside of youtubers to some certain fan bases they feel they have a sense of some of them feel like they have a sense of entitlement have a sense of like you owe us stuff because like we made you who you are Y'all see where that now it could come off very like, huh? Mm. Mm. Cause in my opinion, I, I remember it was a certain YouTuber I was watching and it, ooh, it I feel kind of bad because they were talking about some we made you who you are, we put the money in your account. I was like, dang. And I feel like a good portion of fans, fans do play a part in it, but I feel like it also matters about the person. If y'all did not like the person, if the person didn't have that factor, didn't have that personality. You wouldn't have stuck around so i don't feel like the fans should get all the credit per se but you know i feel like you can't like discredit the person too like 
if that makes sense. So like with BTS, for instance, what they do to fan with ARMY, it's amazing. Good. Too good sometimes. And I understand it though. For them, they were like a, they were like ostracized in the music industry and in their own like country. Like whether or not you want to admit it or not, y'all seen them dancing in the hall. They didn't get a room. Like people did not take them seriously. They only had their fans. I will give them that. For the first, well, hold up, you gotta listen to me. Like the fans really helped them. And then once the fans were pushing them out and then they got even bigger and they were getting even bigger, if the boys weren't that good at what they do, if it wasn't for their personality, their creativity, y'all get what I'm saying? They wouldn't have probably got that big or they probably wouldn't have broke so many records. They have so many dedicated fans. They have a great relationship with their fan base. Now, some of the people in the fan base, don't get me sorted now. Don't get me sorted. The fans shouldn't have this upper hand over people, especially when they have to do something to grab the audience. You know what I mean? It wasn't just the fans alone. Now, some of them, sometimes it really do be the fans. Like, these stupid people out here, like how they get famous. I'm like, oh, you got a good fan base. Because let me tell you, you do not have the impact at all. But that's just my opinion. But when it comes to people like certain K-pop idols, it helps that they actually have some type of talent. Like, it's not just the fans on its own. Like, the reason why they gather up so many fans is because of what they can bring to the table. Once again, I'm specifically talking about K-pop idols. TikTokers, influencers, YouTubers. Sometimes people get away and their fans really do help them more than what they can actually help themselves. So, yeah, once again, I'm talking specifically about K-pop idols or even celebrities at that. Yeah, even some of them, but most of the time, most of the time. You know, it's 50-50 with the fans and artists. But because of that, when K-pop idols have, like, a fan base or have fans that are similar to, like, what a YouTuber has with their viewers sometimes, the lines can get blurred. And it's, like, really bad, especially in K-pop. People will, will start to think that they're friends with certain idols. And maybe it wouldn't be as bad if, the jokes weren't as bad, but sometimes people say things and they're just like, whoa, slow your roll now. You crossed the line. You have to see the line. You have to know your place as a fan. People will comment on certain idols' way, and I'm just like, who the fuck do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Last time I checked, you ain't in his contacts, her contacts. You ain't his, her friend last time I checked. You just a fan, really. Certain things, maybe y'all should just keep to yourselves. People like to set their boundaries. People will even threaten saying, we pay for your house bill. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of news flash for y'all. I don't know if y'all peep this, but sometimes when people rise to a certain of fame, they get more than one type of income. So yeah, you, you probably do contribute to it. But I'm telling y'all right now, somebody got some shares in some type of company, some type of stocks. Somebody going back, some people go back to college to master to get a degree so they'd be like mm, okay this stuff kind of fun but you don't know when it can end then with the way how idols are marketed it's like people put them on this pedestal it could be said about any celebrity it makes fans feel this type of oh my god like they're so unreal i don't know maybe they, they just as human they just as human and i would think that the shows that some of the idols have would help them like oh you know they just like you but except they probably got more money than you, um, they perform, and like a whole lot of people know them. Like, when I was watching Bon, bon Voyage or BTS Run, I was like, oh, okay. It felt nice. It felt like they they were being them. You got to see a different side of them. But even with those shows, people still view these idols as, like, unreal. They put them on a pedestal, and when they do something, they get mad. I mean, like, when they do something that's, like, not seen as perfect, they get mad. Because let me tell y'all right now, low expectations. Y'all got to have low expectations for these idols. You have to view them as if they're your normal, average person. Because if I hear somebody set the N-word, if I see somebody doing something, I'm I, I'm not going to be surprised. I like to get disappointed because they have this this image in their head about their certain favorite, their, about their certain faves. They are not the exception to making mistakes okay now the problem where i throw some hands is when they're constantly making those mistakes and the shitty apologies are just getting more shittier so that's where i crossed the line i'm like what the fuck is you apologizing for you just gonna do it again what are you doing what are you talking about what are you talking about 
I really just wish that the idols were marketed like, I guess celebrities in the West, like, it blows my mind that them being in just a relationship, they can lose half of their fans. Like, I thought we was here for the music. I thought we was here for the music. No. Some of the fans will. It's sad. I remember with Harry Styles, I was down bad, but I wasn't toxic down bad. One song in particular, Curl Carolina, it was about a one night stand. It was a sense of not like, dang, I really thought I had a chance. It's not like that. It was a feeling of reality kicks in like, dang, these people are people. These people will feel what people feel. These people will do what people do. You know what I mean? What makes him the, what had made him the exception? It was that, but I feel like, especially if you're down bad and you've seen them as your comfort person and you know, you did have little scenarios or whatever. And like, they come out and say that they're married or whatever. Like, yeah, you, people, you can worry about it. Okay. Like that, that's completely, I'm gonna see, I see that as normal. But if you try to attack somebody sending threats to that person that they're going out with, I don't know. No, no. Uh-uh. That's a big no. It, that's toxic. But I really just felt like I wish the K-pop industry did not do that. They can still become big without that whole like dating ban, without people viewing them as, oh, they're so like unreal. Like, you know, I really want to hear y'all opinions about it. Do y'all think, oh, no, it's a bunch of bull crap. Like they're doing a good job at it because they know what gets money. And obviously I see, I get the reason, but it's like to the person, to their employees, the idols themselves, damn especially after like looking at imitation i'm just like <sighs> me as a fan to some idols it's just like what gives me the right to say you can't be in a relationship why should i not like that you know i don't know you <laughs> let me stop now see if you was going out with somebody that that is racist then i'm gonna just like mm, i don't that's that's where that's where i'm gonna just sit back and be like if they're a genuine person and obviously, if the idol that you so-called look up to are with them, I think you are you should be in good hands, maybe. Low expectations. What's y'all thoughts on it and how, like, the K-pop industry market idols? Thank y'all for 900 plus subscribers. I'm still trying to do my 1K giveaway. I might, um, because the way how I get paid, y'all might have to wait, like, a week or two. Randomly draw it. Off my subscribers. When I do it, I'll pin a comment of the username or the subscriber. I also want to do, like, a separate giveaway for, like my instagram thing maybe when i started posting on there again but yeah and i do want to do a butter album giveaway i hope to do more videos like this um my rc entertainment another one should be up on tuesday and then a requested video should be up either on friday or thursday i was also doing this thing where a couple of people wanted me to get into at right or i was thinking about hey if i get into a like a group i want to record the process i want to try to see like my raw reaction to the music videos to me getting a feel on their personalities Y'all get what I'm saying? We finna take this. Y'all finna come with me on this journey. And if y'all are an a AT, a at C, at C, I can't say their name for nothing. But I think I'm gonna do like a whole like series on that. Like Stray Kids. Like, oh, let me learn their names. Let me see the music videos. Let me learn a dance or two. Also, I want to learn a Twice dance because their dances look so fun. So we're gonna do, stick around. I have so much planned. And uh, of course, the commentary videos. Of course, so... Yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please give this a big thumbs up. It helps. And um, if you haven't already, you should subscribe because I want to do some more stuff like this. I love K-pop. If you love K-pop, which... And if you like to hear people talk and discuss issues about K-pop or just topics in general, y'all check them out. They're hosting a podcast. One should be up today. So make sure y'all check them out. Link will be in the description down below. And yeah, I hope this video made sense. Had some points. Had some points. Yeah. The edges will, will be shown soon. I have, I have to master it, y'all. have to master them.